In this video, I'm gonna give you five tips for beginner car photography, because if you're like me and have never shot cars before, then you probably need a lot of help. So I've got my buddy Eddie here, who's shot cars, he's shot planes, he's shot lots of high-speed things. We're gonna shoot some photos and throw you some tips for shooting and having fun taking photos of cars. What's something that you would tell a noob like me when taking photos of cars? Have fun. Have fun? Yeah, that's have it? Fun. Yeah. That's so no it. like, this is how to pan, this is the shutter speed you need well, you to gotta, use. You gotta experiment, adding shots, low shutter speed, high aperture. No ISO recommendations, just ISO. You, like as low as you could go. And you think like aperture F over eight, F16 yeah, in that any, range? Yeah, I would go above like F8 to F16. I've shot at F22 sometimes. F22, F22 if you need just like, if you need Say to you cut wanna, more light out of it. Or if you want a manual focus to infinity and shoot F22, everything's gonna be in focus. Right? So manual focus to save your butt, yep. because you're gonna blur out the background, blur out the foreground, but the car is gonna panning, be in focus. Yeah. We'll put some of my photos and some of Eddie's photos on the screen, and let us know which ones you think are better. Oh, so another thing is like, I like I like these cars, I know these cars, Matthew knows absolutely oh, Hold on, they're coming. Cars. On, based on what I've seen, this shot, this ground angle, the wall's gonna be in our way. We'll have to stand up. Okay. But we're kind of tired. We'll we'll try and get some <laughs> shots with this concrete barrier in the foreground and the trees in the background because you really want to get a nice blurry background. Like you don't want too much crap, I guess you call it, like people, boring stuff, something exciting, like a solid color in the background. Yeah, so the runoff, the green runoff area looks nice on panning shots. What's uh what's your favorite car, Anthony? Uh the yellow one. <laughs> The banana car. Anything that's yellow, the, orange, the or Lamber, red. Lamber Lamborghini banana. The La Lambert. No, okay. I know. I know the name of Lamborghini. Lamborghini I what's, machine. What's the car I didn't know the name of? Uh, you called it a cater catamaran. Catamaran. <laughs> Look, it was moving fast. <laughs> I couldn't read the text. It's fine. You'll forgive me. Kind of looks like a catamaran, though. I don't think so at all. <laughs> Of all the cars you saw today, which one was your favorite? Oh, sure. You're gonna have to edit this, because I have to think. Oh, the Subaru flatbed truck. Did you take a picture of it, yes, though? Yes, I did. <laughs> I really like that Mustang that was in that last round, because it had its headlights on. Lessons from car photography. Go as low of a shutter as you can to get that panning motion blur effect, but like, what, what's the limit? I'd say like one over 100? Yeah, one over 100 is good. I mean, you could probably get away with one over 80, one over 50 if your hands are steady. If you were really stable, you could do lower, but one over 100 at 70 millimeters, or in your case, you're shooting crop sensor to 70 to 200, or my 70 to 200, you're 50 to 140. Yeah, definitely go wider and then crop in. And again, if you're just posting on Instagram, you could get away with images that aren't tack sharp. Unless you're gonna blow it up into a massive no, poster. Yeah, then you But would. even then, not too bad. Okay, that's cool. So how many photos have you taken so far? I've taken about a thousand. Quite a few of them are not that great because I was trying to figure out my settings. But now that I've got it nailed away, I feel like I can do a burst of like three or three or four or five photos and and nail it somewhat okay. I'm at a thousand four hundred, which is way too much. A thousand four hundred. I'm probably gonna cull it down to a hundred. Oh yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely like a one to ten ratio. Hundred that I'll keep, and then ones for like sharing on the gram or whatever. I don't know, twenty. -ish. Don't feel bad if you do take a lot of photos and you only end up keeping, of a thousand, again, a hundred. Delete the blurry ones, delete the ones that are out of focus, delete the ones where the cars don't We're look the good. Repeats. We're getting a lot of repeats, right? And the nice thing here is they're going through the track three or four times, and so if there's a car you like, you can plan out your shot, you can pre-focus, so if there is a spot where you know the car is gonna be, you can either change it to a point 
autofocus or spot auto autofocus. In my case, my Canon, I can do like a little box and as long as the front of the car is in that box, then I'll get it in focus and the photo, it doesn't matter if like the back of the car is out of focus because it's moving fast. What you really want is to get the front where all those details are or where the driver is. The other tip thing was just different composition, different spots, don't see in the same spot. Some of the photos we took today were taken from this like corner turn, which is good because the cars like kind of come up on an angle and you can get more details. Also, I don't know if you can see it in the background, but there's this like bridge. And so we got up onto the stairs and took some top down shots, which also turned out really well. Some of the photos we shot from like where you can see all, well, there were people over there, they're gone now, but we shot from there to this side, just to give like a different background and a different angle and different perspective. So instead of all the cars looking like they're driving from left to right, some, some of the photos will look like they're driving right to left. Just, just a little bit of variation. Final tip, if you are going to shoot car photos, one thing you'll notice in the background is that it's kind of overcast, which gives nicer lighting on the car. So you don't have this like really harsh reflection. Another way to fix that is if you are having hard reflections, you can try something like a circular polarizer. And most of the photos I took today were taken with a circular polarizer, which just helps add a little bit of color and cut down on glare and the unnatural reflections that you, you don't really want in your cars. Although uh, you weren't shooting with a circular polarizer, were you? Nope. I'm too poor to afford one. Eddie's too poor to, to afford a, a filter. Do you want to try it? So this is, this is, this is the ending. We just go like this and then we... No, 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 no. Oh, you gotta it's gotta be like fully... <laughs> you need a catchphrase. Do you have a catchphrase? Peace. Go shoot photos. <laughs> Go shoot photos, everyone. <laughs> Anyways, if you want to see more videos like this, more photography, composition, techniques, and tutorials, make sure you hit the subscribe button or stay tuned for more.